it's finally time for another Top Moments. This time for episode 53 of Aftermath. I took a little bit of a break from all of you stupid people. But now it is time. Let's get into it. Whoa. The intro. I am anti everything. Don't be kind. I draw the line. No, I will not give in. I am anti everything. Anti everything. Anti everything. Anti. Way of Silver. Match with Rosa gets cancelled and that's honestly a good thing in my mind because I do not want to see Rosa Russell. Jake Matthews threatens to break the necks of both his opponents which really proves that this is an unsafe work environment. He also says he's gonna break Prince Chandler's shoulder which I usually love that reference but is he gonna break his neck and his shoulder? Like that just feels counterproductive or just overdoing it. Sane calls Prince Chandler the most tenacious prince he's ever seen, implying he's met numerous princes. He also can compare which one are tenacious and not, and I am very confused on what Justin Abel Sane does in his free time. Actually, I know what he does in his free time, and I can't say it on YouTube. There's a joke I want to make about Zero's promo, but... He'll probably hurt me. Rozo says his evolution... From just Rozo to Rozo the Giant was caused by the rebellion and now I know who to blame for all of this. Rozo also says he's not at his final form, his final stage and man there's some shitty wrestler that that just makes me think about that you know so, somewhere I can't think of his name but nah it's just not, it's just not important. The rebellion? Or not, we are the tag team champions. Leonidas says he's too good basically to do this promo. But does that mean because he asked his sponsor Nightfall to do the promo that he thinks sponsor Nightfall isn't too good to do this promo? I'm here. Also, I get called David Arquette. And I, I just... I, I don't know what is wrong with him. I do not look like David Arquette. Most of your bus lines, I'm gonna new jack the funky out of you, were just stolen or just unoriginal. Okay? And that is why I am going to retire you, to put you out of your misery. I really enjoyed when Swords switched up Zero's theme, doing a reference to Redux. I just thought it was just a great moment. I loved seeing Swords just have so much fun with what he was doing. And also, Jake Matthews. Entering with the Redux short, entering with Sane, doing another Redux thing, I just thought it was all fantastic. Now with these teams in mind, remember that means this match is Barricade versus Barricade Mumbles. And if that does not make you want to watch this show anymore, then I just don't know what to say. Actually, I would be surprised if you haven't already watched an episode of Aftermath. They are all fantastic, especially the ones with me in it. I really just enjoyed the whole wrestling, wrestling into the slam the last time Jake Matthews says it. It's just absolutely fantastic. And of course, we don't even get a winner of this fantastic match. The match breaks down very quickly. But also, Silver waits way too long to actually call the match. He, Silver just sits there, just watching. And we see Saints celebrating at the end of the night. Possibly showing what could happen at Broken Dreams, but we have a little bit while to wait until Broken Dreams comes out. Make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on what is happening. Also, while you're waiting for Broken Dreams to come out, you know what you can do? Buy some N.E.W. merch. I have been Tyson Spade. Have a good night.